Is it on? It's on. Do, you, do we remember how to do this? Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. A hey. long time coming. I know. It's been a few months again. Yeah. We haven't, the, truthfully, the thing is we just haven't had a whole lot of time to be doing a whole lot on the van. And and uh, it's also building up that um, motivation to get out here and really get going on some stuff. But there has been a few things that have arrived that uh, are encouraging us to get it done. Plus, there's a trip coming up fairly soon that everything just has to be done by. So now, nothing better than just leaving it to the time where it's crunch time. So I think we, we, we perform best under pressure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so today we're doing something pretty interesting. Um, it's very few things that we do at the van where it actually changes a good percentage of the look of it. And today we're going to be putting in a window on the side door. I'm so, so pumped for this. The nice thing is I think it's going to be easier. It's easier than the bunk windows as far as I can tell. Just because the bunk windows were hard. There's no template and all that stuff. There's no template needed here because we're really just there's already a cutout or kind of like a line to trace on the inside. So the van's built to take these whereas the bunk, fit, bunk windows aren't really... The van wasn't built with that in mind so no. yeah so this should be pretty good um we have done a few little things that we'll kind of talk to you guys a little bit about later on is um and show you some stuff about it. it's not 100 percent done but we have added a hot water heater onto the back of the door of the van here for some nice warm showers are you trying to squeeze through <laughs> <laughs> so it's a propane based water heater um, we just need to get a propane tank to actually test it out uh, not it doesn't take the well, you could probably get an adapter but it doesn't take those little screw in ones we're gonna get a little five pound propane tank to take with us and then we'll use that for the barbecue as well but whole idea here is you hook it up we've got our hose line there already from the water tank that just snaps right into the bottom of it you flip it on it's instant hot and we'll be able to have hot showers out here, which will be nice. That's so nice. Because I think that was like one of the biggest struggles was we would get into certain areas and we just weren't able to source showers. We really aren't trying to shower with soaps and stuff in the lakes as that hurts the, um, the ecosystems in the water. So mm -hmm. it's just something that's going to be so nice to be able to be able to turn on the shower and yeah. get instant hot water instead of you took a very cold shower on the top of the mountain last yeah, year yeah exactly it's very cold and we may we don't know we may put up something for privacy but i think the easier answer is just throw your bathing suit on and come in the back and just give it a quick shower down yeah. that's probably what we'll end up doing so yeah. and we'll still take advantage of showers if there's stuff available Absolutely. wherever we are but this is a good backup and we've got a huge water tank too so it's uh we're able to do that and the cool thing about instant hot is that just when you flip it on it immediately that's when like you hear click 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 and it lights the flame inside and then it gets hot right away so you're not wasting water but you're also not wasting gas it's not an interior unit but with this door open that's how we're going to use it um it'll vent out fine there and we don't have to worry about carbon monoxide and stuff so it's a three season shower but yeah. we don't want to be getting wet in the middle of winter rooms yeah no it's good so let's go and start looking at what we need to do to get this window installed let's cut the biggest hole in the van <laughs> yeah the yeah. biggest one <laughs> So the window is going to fill this entire gap from here all the way up, this entire thing right here. It's going to be a big picture window, let lots of light in. So the way that we're going to go ahead and uh, template this out if you come in here. <laughs> so um, so in here you can actually see the, the outline of where this window is going to sit. So we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and just punch little indents all the way along this edge here so that we'll be able to see it from the outside because we wouldn't be able to cut it from the inside with the um, with this kind of like groove here and stuff. You wouldn't be able to get the, a nice flat um, seating with the jigsaw. Plus we've got this cabinet here. So ideally would it, we would have installed this window back when um, we were kind of in the early stages of the build, but the windows aren't cheap and- uh, They were back stocked last year yeah, too. Yeah, it was hard to get them too. So. We're now doing it now. I don't think it'll be too bad. We'll cut it from the outside. And then the only hard part might be when where the windows are closed. Once the, or so, once the door is closed, is getting the screws in, which kind of sandwich the window up against the door just with this cabinet. But I've got my 90 tool for the impact driver and we should be fine. So the first step is we'll get a flathead and start um, making those indents. And then on the other side, we'll play connect, con ah, connect the dots. <laughs> and then we can uh, use that to trace our line for the jigsaw. Check out my toolbox. Upgraded a little bit from just like the messy tools all over the place. My goal in 2022 is to have uh, organized tools all year round. Like last year, I'd lose pieces everywhere and I have to replace sets and stuff. So now everything is here on this and on the truck here. I bolted in these little mounts in here so that everything just slides right into the back of the truck. You can pull it out if you want, or you can just go ahead and throw everything in. 
And it even has the uh, walking, like you've got a, I've got a wheel unit here so you can put a handle on and wheel everything around if you want. It's the Milwaukee Packout, it's the best storage solution out there. <laughs> Not sponsored. Not sponsored, but it should be. The Milwaukee Packout with all DeWalt tools. <laughs> We're a little confused in our branding, yeah. but... But the DeWalt, to, uh, DeWalt toolboxes don't hold a candle to this stuff, so... Maybe Milwaukee can convince us to switch, switch over everything. full branding. They do, they do do that. They do offer that, but um, there's like some promo where you have to give in, you have to give a battery with every one of your DeWalt tools and they'll give you like some kind of one for one trade. But if you have new DeWalt tools, it's not really worth it. I need to find uh, my hammer though. Uh -oh. It's not where it should be. <laughs> Well, just as I was saying that 2022 is going to be the year of everything being organized. Hmm. Uh-oh. It's probably in the garage. Look at the drawers, though. Look at drawers and stuff in here. Um, <laughs> the hammer I think we're supposed to be installing a window, not uh, sponsoring Milwaukee's uh, packets. <clears throat> um, I think I left the hammer in one of the stores. So I've got a, I've got a uh, mallet, rubber mallet. I use that instead. <laughs> The nice thing about doing this is that this window hides all the imperfections. So even if everything's not perfect, the window overlaps the hole by about like this much. So everything gets hidden by uh, really, you just need to have the hole pretty much the right size, file it down until it's perfect. And then, um, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect precision, which is perfect for us. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. Maybe a little bit tough, but there I get a little bit more uh -oh. <laughs> access to this. Yeah, this is interesting. This is where the fun begins. It ain't a van build unless there's a little challenge involved. Yeah, that's, uh, might need to get something that's more of a. Short? Yeah, because I don't want to, wow, we've got quite a line here. Nothing like damaging the van. Oh, nice, very nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah, so we just need to... I think we should just leave it like this. This yeah. is like a statement. <laughs> How's it going in there? Definitely a lot tighter than <laughs> it could have been if we did this earlier, but... I think this was on like a six month back order when we looked. Yeah. And priorities were uh, different for money. Yeah, I know. Window was optional. Toilet was not. Toilet was not optional. Let's just leave it like this, put some saran wrap up and go My dad did say just add some extra airflow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. oh, oh. It's gonna be somewhere like that. I think this bottom corner is the window's a little big. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lengthwise, okay. So. Don't trip. That would be terrible. <laughs> the very last thing that we do. So I guess we didn't show that I painted the edges and stuff and we uh, filed, filed it down and everything. So all the boring stuff. Ooh. Did you just break that? It's all good. Bye, Taylor.
Down. Uh, up a little bit. It's amazing how blind I am on this side of camera. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Safety first! Because <laughs> it's not, um, it will definitely, the seal is there, so it's definitely going to need to be sucked in, but yeah, it's, uh, you know what? Do you want to go look with him? I'll hold it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, same thing. Same thing right there? Yeah. Well, actually, it's about the same on both sides. Try 97. <laughs> A little higher. You okay up there, Taylor? Yep. All right, it's a different day. Nicole's actually away today. She's um, shooting a wedding down in Jamaica. So today's a day I took off here just to uh, really get as much of this done as possible. There's a bunch of things that I'm working on. A little update where we I think we left off on the video. We've been a little bit bad about closing out uh, projects and stuff from a video perspective but the window is in so it looks good the one thing that I wasn't sure about when it went in was there was a bit of a gap here between where the glass is and this uh, metal and I wasn't sure whether the seal around the window was fully seated and and I know there's two different kinds of windows you can get for these one is where the glass actually gets glued right to the door so it's really flush um, where, but then the downside to that is you have to make sure that there's a lot of tension on it while the glue seals there and actually kind of adheres to the door. The other option is this C.R. Lawrence window, which has a gasket. And then on the inside, as we saw before, it's got this kind of trim seal that goes all the way around and it just sandwiches it in there and, and holds it shut what seems to work pretty well it was easy to install you put it in there we sprayed water on had no leaks we've had some rainstorms it's went through a car wash no problems at all um but i just wasn't sure about that seal and i think the funny thing about this window is that there's one window online that says it's good for 2007 to present but they changed the design of the sprinter in 2019 so i think even though the window fits fine it looks fine um, maybe there are a little bit of, uh, um, maybe it doesn't fit completely perfect on the 2019s though, because you can see here it's, a, it's, it's set a little bit lower than this lip here at the bottom. And then as it goes up, it kind of comes out a little bit and then it goes back in a little bit. So even though the seal is completely flush, the curvature of the window doesn't completely match the door. You can't really notice unless you look close, but this one I was more concerned about was there was a, uh, Bit of a gap here and i almost could stick my finger in there so what i did was i pulled the whole window off again and i checked the gasket and the gasket was completely smushed so it was there was no opportunity for it to be pulled in any tighter and um so that basically told me that that's the way this is designed there's literally nothing you could do to get it any suctioned any closer so i went to home depot and got this rubber gasket here just to kind of fill the gap there and i was kind of thinking maybe i'll seal the edges of it and stuff to keep water out but I wouldn't want to seal the bottom just in case water did manage to get in there I wouldn't want it accumulating on the inside um, I think for now I'm gonna leave it unsealed but when I did take the window off because the gasket was already completely compressed I figured I, I put a little bit of Sikaflex all the way around the edge and then I put it back on so then that's gonna hopefully create even a little bit better of a water seal so now it's basically glued on there but um, we have no intention of taking it back off so I'm happy with it now I wasn't I was a little bit unsure with that gap but now that I know that's the way it's designed then that's the way it is and it looks fine now especially now that that black seal is on there you don't even notice it and now that I've kind of looked for some sprinters on the road I do see windows that are installed like that so it just depends on which kind of window you have if you have the one that gets adhe adhered with adhesive right to the door or not 
Hey guys, it's Future Editing Chris here. Um, as we went along there, we filmed a lot of content about upgrades we've been doing to the van leading up to this trip here, and we didn't really open or close any of the videos. So I'm just going ahead and trying to put it all together. And um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut the video off here. Next week, you will see upgrades that we did to the van for the I, I, the lights that are up on top of the roof along with things like the swivel seat and um, other really cool upgrades that we've got going on that we have to do before the trip. Uh, so I'm going to cut it off here after the window and we look forward to having you guys here next week. If you have any questions, comments or anything about how we installed the window, so far it's been great. We love it and it made a huge difference inside the van just being able to see out there even while you're driving looking out that side window. Um, so if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment below. It really helps us. We love hearing from you guys, and we will see you next week. Have a good week, guys.